Hey guys, welcome to this video and today I'm going to show you how you can work from home remotely and get access to all your important files on your work computer. And most of all, it is fast, easy and free. So I'm going to walk you through everything that you need. Now, this is happening a lot over here right now. I'm seeing it a lot working in IT. Um, it's because of the coronavirus, COVID-19. So yeah, um, lots of people are shutting up shop and uh, working from the comfort of their own home so that they can uh, quarantine themselves and uh, just, you know, be a little bit more vigilant and so on. But what happens when you do that is you still need access to all your work files. And where are they? They're on your office computer. Well, you can't just, you know, pick up your office computer and take it home. Well, most people can't. Some people can if they're using laptops. Most people can't. There's got to consider the uh, the office network, the file storage, the printers, the faxes, um, everything that's locked down to the office for specific access. Well, as soon as you go home, what happens to all of that? Well, here's an easy solution. It's very easy to implement, and it's going to be great for small businesses because a lot of small businesses don't have um, dedicated IT staff, and it, they're going to need to set something up on their own. Uh, and this is something that you can do very, very quickly. So what you'll need to do is get hold of Real VNC. Okay, it's going to pop up on your screen right now. Now, I'm going to show you a working demo of how to configure both ends of this. A real VNC comes in what's called real, VN real VNC Connect. It has the viewer and the server all in one, which technically means you can connect from your home to work and from your work to home. So this is how we set it up. So have a look on the screen right now and you will see my office computer. So this is my real office computer. So I'm going to install the server side on this. So what we're going to do first is go ahead and open up a browser. Google Chrome is great. And then we're going to go to the web address here on the screen right now, which is realvnc.com forward slash download forward slash VNC. And that's going to bring up the product page for the real VNC connect. So as you can see, it supports a bunch of different operating systems, including Windows and Linux um, and Raspberry Pi and iOS, Android, all that. So we're going to click the download button here and it's going to download in Chrome while we wait for that to finish. All right, here we go. We're going to run that and we're going to select our language and then we're going to just go through the wizard agree to the terms of course just leave everything as it is defaulted and it's going to install pretty quickly actually um, as you can see it is already done and once complete it's going to pop up this window asking for your login credentials now if you don't already have a real vnc account it's free to create one so just go ahead and click this link right here that you don't have an account it's going to open up your default browser and bring you to the account creation page you just insert your email address and hit next and uh, you can begin to create your account now i already have one so i'm going to go ahead and log in right now Okay, and there we go. I am logged in successfully. I'm going to select personal. Um, I don't want to uh, create a trial at this particular time. Personal is 100% free all the time, so we'll just do that. Now it's going to ask me to create a password. This is specific to this device to connect to, so I'll just go ahead and do that. And now I can input my PC name. I'm just going to leave it as is. It's going to tell me I'm a home user, and now I'm just going to apply that. And that's it. We are all set on this end, nothing else to do. You can see um, that it applied the settings and now we have the real VNC window open and ready for connections. So at this point, what we're gonna do is jump over to our home PC. So here we are on our home PC. We're gonna do the exact same thing. Open up Google, we'll just make it a little bit bigger here. There we go. And we are gonna go, the same page will work, but this time we're actually gonna to go to realvnc.com forward slash download forward slash VNC. Um, and uh, that's gonna bring up the exact same page. We're just gonna download it again. And uh, while we wait for that to download, um, 
mentioned this is compatible again with all the different operating systems you can see there on the screen so you could use your ios device to connect to your work computer which is pretty awesome so once that has downloaded it's going to do the same thing pop up we're going to uh, just get rid of chrome here in the background okay and we're going to select our language english is good for us i'm going to hit okay um, and then it's going to walk through the exact same wizard so next and uh, check the box that we agree to the terms and uh, continue on there yep everything is good and select next and uh, keep going and here we go as you can see it's installed already cool all right so now what we need to do is go to the start menu i'm going to type in viewer and what this is going to do is open up the VNC viewer. Now, what we do is um, have to go and agree to this real quick, like that. Okay, now in the top right, there is a sign in option. We'll click that and we're going to sign in with our username and password that we created earlier um, for real VNC. So we'll put our email address in and our password. Now, what this is going to actually do, as you can see, is it's going to verify the sign in. Um, so it'll send an email address to you to verify the sign-in request because uh, you're obviously going to be taking control of another machine and uh, we want to make sure that it is secure. So uh, right now, just uh, go ahead, check your email for the verification, which is going to bring us to a page like this. We're going to say, yep, authorize this device. There we go, and now we can close the window because we are authorized. And now you will see, returning to VNC, you'll see our work PC, just like that. Okay, there we go. And now it's worth mentioning that you can have uh, up to five PCs and three users. So to get into the PC, double click on it, and it's gonna load up right here. It's gonna ask you to accept the firewall rule. So yeah, we'll do that. And now it's gonna ask you for the other password that you created specific for this machine. We'll type that in and we hit enter and boom, there we are straight into our work machine and we can navigate around. Now this looks a little different familiar because I've got two screens. Now you can configure that as well in the settings, but just for demonstration purposes, um, I did not. So that's why I've got icons on the left and the right because it's it's showing my left and pardon my right screen there. Um, but yeah, you can navigate around and it's as if you are actually at the office on your work computer. Isn't that absolutely awesome? So there you have it guys, that was how to set up remote access with real VNC and um, hopefully that was uh, easy for you guys and it will save you a lot of trouble and still allow you to maximize productivity and work from home. Hey everybody stay safe and keep those germs away and uh, quit buying toilet paper okay because some of us are going to run out very soon and uh, you know we need it too and uh, until the next one we will see you later.